Let's go back in time. To the good times, the simple times. So I'm in primary school and I have to wake my motis ahead of us up to go to school so I can get to school to do the fractions, the ratios and them things there. After I get my education it's break time but unfortunately I can't go to the Muga to do the usual football, get tackled, yell yards even though they're far away from me and beg Abdi to give me the ball for once in his life because it's raining. So of course the only thing I can do now is run to the computer suite or go to the classroom to go on the computers and play games. And what other source of entertainment would I get out of using the computers and playing flash games. There's obviously a variety of flash games to play, but where better to get it from than the one and only Friv? So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Omar Days YouTube channel, where today I have decided to reminisce on one of the biggest childhood memories I have. So enough of the waffle, let's get right into this video lads. Friv was a free flash gaming website, which had a variety of flash games which ranged from problem solving, parkouring, sports games and much more. According to BoardGamesTip.com, it was created by two guys named Micah Kaufman and Shay Wingerman, I am sorry if I said the names wrong, who created the site in 2002, came up with the name Friv in 2004 and had everything ready to launch in 2006. What most kids would have enjoyed about the website would have been the hundreds of game options we had to choose from, and with everything looking vibrant and being family friendly, no one really had the problem with the site, apart from the losers in class who just read books all day, as well as the dickhead teachers who caught you playing it when you weren't meant to, by monitoring the computers and blocking us from using every single game there, even when we were allowed to. But the site had us kids playing it for hours and hours, whether it was at home or at school, and literally beating each other up just because we had one cunt who wouldn't come off the computers. I, I don't know, that's probably just a Birmingham thing. Pretty much what I'm going to do is show you my top 5 favourite games from Friv. So let's start with number 5. <laughs> Red Ball was a platforming game where you basically got this red ball and had to get through different obstacles to get to the next level. The levels went up to 17 with 2 being a regular level and the last 5 being a bonus one. Just a basic simple obstacle game I really enjoyed as a kid. Tasty Planet was basically a Gario with a storyline. The scientist was messing about with this micronism that looks like this grey goo which eats everything around them, which pretty much in each level is just going to a different area, where they eat everything and just get bigger and bigger. They will go from the microscope area, to the guy's body, to the table with a very concerning amount of mice in there, until world domination. The game is interesting to play, but at my big age right now, it wasn't really as fun as I thought it was going to be. Dental Adventure was a Friv game, which was based on an old kids TV series known as The Glen Martin Show. It was basically a stop motion animation about a dentist father who takes his family to a camper van known as the Dental Mobile all across the US doing dental care. And using that concept from the show, we get to go to different states and be a dentist. We get to fix these people's nasty ass teeth, play their favourite music, make them happy, and we also get to do different challenges which are not related to being a dentist. Not gonna lie, I thought this game was gonna be chill as hell, but wallahi he found this game was fucking stressful. I don't know if it was due to me not playing the game for like 10 years, but some of these instructions were just weird to me. But let's not talk about it. Not trying to embarrass myself by being shit at a kid's game. Electric Man is a stickman fighting game, which was like the B-Tech Flash version of Tekken or Street Fighter. Just like those games, you could play with different types of combos, which you used in different levels when encountering a variety of ops. Instead of using the usual keys of WASD to move around, you must scoop down to the level of using the arrow keys, just so you can use those keys for something else. To do the more basic, quick fighting moves, you use the ASD keys, and then when doing the more slow motion, cool action stickman thing, you use Q, W and E. The game was fun to play and I really did enjoy playing it again. A little too much I would say. Come on nigga. It's a 3v1, you still got attack me nigga. Come on boy. Come on me boy. You know these pussies running boy. Come on here boy. I ain't dumb with you. Bruh, how many men are there from? Bruh, are you still alive? R.I.P. that pussy, yay. 
My favourite game on Thrive Extreme Pamplona was a running park core game where we used this Armando looking motherfucker to run away from all the ups who are so mad at him for some reason. We get to go to different countries when we achieve a level and we get to choose the directions we go. And I chose Germany for reasons that are disclosed to all my days and all my days alone. I know it's known in November and whatnot but I hate to see it. Come back here pretty lady, I wanna see them titties. <laughs> then to good old Britain to see the feds. Oi, oi you. Oh, you bloody wanker. Oh, shoot. My must. Oh, shh. I beg, leave me alone now. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Slip. Let's try this again. You can't. What, bitch? What are you gonna do, little boy? Then to this guy in Spain who seems to be so pissed at the character, as if he slept with his daughter or something. Why oh, is this so like a woman with- Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Bro, you were not here the whole time, now you wanna come to me. Oh, I hate you bro, I hate you. You are neek, you are neek, you are neek! And after you get past either Germany, Mummy Milkers or Boogie2988 man boobs, you complete the challenge with the same ball, but running backwards and getting past those ole ole guys to complete the challenge once and for all. Come on bro, we out here bro, come on man. I I ignore the score, but come on man, gang gang. If I'm going to be talking about Friv, I'm unfortunately going to have to talk about Flash Player. Flash Player was pretty much an Adobe owned multimedia software, which was used to create a very huge variety of medias, which included applications for the PCs or the phone, like games you played on. Also was used for web browsers, graphics, video games and many many more. And according to Microsoft Edge blog, Adobe and Microsoft got into a dispute in July 2017, which resulted in announcing that Adobe Flash Player after December 2020 would no longer be supported by Microsoft. The only way I could play the games that I just played was by using a browser known as Pale Moon and installing an older version of Flash Player. And it's low key kinda sad that since the deletion of Flash Player, it has led to popular Flash website games we know and love like Cool Mass Game, Kizzy and even Friv to no longer be played the way they were once played again. We still have chances of playing stuff like 2 player games due to it not being run by Flash Player. But when you look at something like the new Friv, it's absolutely shit. And without Flash Player we get left with. Leaving it to be another thing kids grew up with, to have as a nostalgic thing to talk about, but never to be played again. And pretty much this is where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video since I had a lot of fun making it. And for those who want to play the old Flash games again, I will leave a link in the description for the Flash player and Pale Moon. In fact, I will leave a YouTube video for the person who showed me how to do it, because without them, the video would be a little bit dead to be honest. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you soon. Oh my days out. We off the grid, grid, grid. This for my kid, kid, kid. For when my kid, kid, kids have kids. Everything we did for the crib. Everything we did, how we live. All this smoke got a sin. All that smoke, heaven sent. Everything I spoke, what I meant. Never disguised my intent. Lines outside the event. Brought my life off the trench.